Gonna take this shot out by the highway, so hope the road noise isn't too much. Hi, my name is Luke, and I work at Western Tractor. We are a John Deere agricultural and lawn and garden dealership in Southern Alberta. One of the things I really enjoy about my job is the tie to history we have here. As a manufacturer, John Deere has been building agricultural equipment for farmers for like well over a hundred years. I remember poring over John Deere history books as a kid, detailing all the innovations over the decades. And so for me here as an employee, it's always really cool when an old piece of equipment comes in needing repair. The neat thing about the old equipment is that there's story behind it, there's history there. Let me show you an example. This is a John Deere 5020, built between 1965 to 1972. This was the big gun of its day. My very own dad says that this was his dream machine when he was a young man starting out farming. So then I was really stoked to see one of these in the shop, but then all of a sudden I noticed, what is that? So check out this cab. Basically all this is good for is keeping the wind and the rain off. There's no air conditioning, there's no windshield wipers, the seat isn't all that great. I've spent hours in a cab like this and I tell you, it is not comfortable. The vibration, the sound, and how sore my back got, and just how hot it could get in there. But you know what, just because it's old doesn't mean people were stupid back then. They came up with a solution and it was actually helpful. I'll see if I can get you a decent shot of this. It's air conditioning before there was air conditioning. It's quite a genius system and it just uses moving air and water. So there's no R12, no R134, nothing in there that's gonna harm the environment. What they would do is they would pump water from a reservoir up into that unit, the fan would blow air to evaporate it and blow it onto the operator. The funny thing is that sometimes the drain hose of the excess water would get plugged and water would kind of pool up there. And if the operator hit a bump or something, he'd get rained on or it could potentially short out the motor. So it's been really fun to reminisce about tractors like this. But let's take a quick tour through the shop and see how cabs have evolved over the years. This cab design is called the Soundguard cab, which replaced the one we've been just looking at. It put John Deere about 10 years ahead of the competition in terms of operator comfort. It actually had real air conditioning, which was mind blowing at the time. This 7210 has the next version of cab that John Deere came out with. It had a much nicer seat, it was much quieter in the cab, and the stereo was much nicer. And then fast forward about 30 years. These modern day cabs are beautiful. Gorgeous unobstructed view through the glass, premium sound system with subwoofer, heat and air conditioning like crazy, gorgeous seat to sit in, cab controls and connectivity like you wouldn't believe, and the list just goes on. LED lighting, etc., etc., etc. We've come a long way over the decades. So it's been really fun to walk down memory lane and have a look at cab innovation over the decades. Thanks for watching and take care. They weren't stupid. They came up with, they tried to come up with some sort of solution and, and they tried to come up with, but you know what, back then, man, I don't know how many times I have to say the same thing over and over and over again before I get it right on camera.